Let me introduce our company, Triple Five Optical Mechanical Electric Integration Training Device. First, this device is divided into five parts. This is control part, which is mainly composed of PLC, inverter, and servo. Then, there is a feeding part of the equipment. The feeding is mainly push three kind of materials from the silo to the position of the conveyor belt. Then slowly move to the end of the conveyor belt through the rotation of the conveyor belt. The handing unit transports the material blocks at the end of the conveyor belt to the material table. When the sensor under the material detects the material, the last unit stores until move the hand grab at the side of the material by moving the X and Z axis. The capture materials are placed in different locations in warehouse. Warehouse is divided into three levels. The first layer is a location of black material block. The second layer is a location of red material block. The third layer is a location of silver material block. The air circuit is composed of a pen cylinder, a rotating cylinder, and a clapping cylinder. The control part of the air circuit is controlled by a solenoid value. The solenoid value model is two position five-way solenoid value. And pressure regulator is mainly used to adjust the air pressure in system to achieve stable operation. Next, we power up the device. This is the power supply of device. There are the power supply of each module. Turn on the low level switch before powering the device and then turn on the main power. Turn on the air source of the equipment is power on. Now equipment has been powered on anomaly. After power on, we will find that the yellow light of device has been flashing which means the device can be start under the condition. How to solve the problem? We put the three kinds of materials into barrel in turn, then by operating the touch swing. Make the X axis direction of the handing robot. Moving in one direction to deviate from the side to original switch. And the Z axis of the device is also operated to deviate from the side of the arranging switch. At this point, we press the reset button. Then the Z axis has been seen and the reset has begun. And the X axis has not been reset. Because we have not defined the direction of returning to the origin. At this time, we see that yellow light has started to stay on, which means the equipment has reached operational condition. Now we press the start button.
At this time, we see that x axis movement speed is relatively slow. We can adjust the parameters to make the x axis move faster to 100. The speed will not change when it adjusts to 100. The speed will only change in the next process. We see that x axis is moving much faster than before. At this time, yellow light is flashing, which means that barrel is out of stock and needs to be refilled. If no feeding is performed, the equipment will stop automatically after completing the exercise and complete the current work. Now there is a red block waiting for a job to finish. At this time, equipment has finished entering the stop state. Next, we will introduce the touch screen. The touch screen is divided into the following operable parts. One is the input point detection. We see a lot of red and green boxes representing the status information of each point. We can manually test whether each sensor is working properly. The air circuit can be disconnected, so there is no air source in the entire system, and the cylinder is within the approval range. At this time, when we pull the feeding cylinder, we can find that the two sensors of the feeding sensor are constantly flickering. At this time, it means that the installation position of the two sensors of feeding cylinder are correct. Ventilate the system. Tap the touch screen home button to return to the home screen. Click the touch screen output button to entire next page. We can click each box to trigger each component. Tap the touch screen home button to return to the home screen. We found that each storage location needs a fixed location. At this time, we need to define the location of each storage location and the countertop. There is a black button in the upper right corner of the touch screen, which is widely used for maintenance. We enter the screen. There is a 12 warehouse location in the screen. Each information represents the location of a warehouse. This is warehouse 1, there are warehouse 2, warehouse 3, warehouse 4, sort in the direction. You can see that there are two boxes. One is X position and the other is Z position. Here is a table X position, here is a table Z position. We can manipulate the grab to the move to the grab in the end x and z axis directions. We can also change its speed. We give it a speed. At this time, we found that the speed of the hand became faster. If it's found the current position x is minus 75.20, z is 31.70. When the grasping position in the fifth silo position, we can enter this current position into the fifth box. After setting, you need to set other location uniformly. That concludes the touch screen explanation. Thank you.